Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today is going to be another memory video. Um, I know you guys love these type of videos and I get really good uh, feedback on these type of videos and if you missed the first two, the first one was the death of the mithril guy and then the last one was when I met zombie Idaho, a really good friend of mine. So um, this one is a little different and I was asking my FC and uh, a few of my friends what should I make today and they wanted a memory video. So Today I'm going to be talking about my first lure experience, and it's not me luring, it's me getting lured, but yeah, I'll just be talking about that, and that's why I'm in Clan Wars, and that's why I'm wearing a really weird uh, gear set, like Arcane, Bandos, Glavens, uh, Kadok Long, my farming cape. So you know this was in the past, obviously, because I didn't have my comp back then, but I did have my farming, I've had farming for so long, but um, we'll get into that in a few minutes. Another thing, why am I in low detail? Um, Clan Wars is a really dark place, so the only way it's going to be bright is if I have um, the graphics on minimum, so sorry about that, I usually make videos in high detail, but not this one. So as for the memory, the time period, I believe it was like um, late 2012, no it wasn't late 2012, it had to have been early 2012, it was before EOC came into the game, and EOC came into the game November 2012, so um, I think it actually was early summer, okay, I think it was early summer 2012. And uh, back then I had tons of money from uh, selling floors and whatnot. I think I had like a 600 mil bank. Um, well, to me, that was a lot at the time. So it might not be a lot for someone else. But for example, this gear set right here, uh, let me zoom in. The arcane and like everything else was added up to like 145 mil, I think. I think everything added up to that, and I did have a Fury with a Fury ornament kit, but I don't really want to buy one for the video, so just imagine I had that, and I did wear that uh, red hat, that's the Dragon Ceremonial hat, um, I just like the look of it with it, um, maybe I had a green, I don't remember, but um, as you can tell, I really like the color green, a lot of these things are green, I was going to get a Divine, but it just so happened that I couldn't afford it at the time, that was like 600 mil, and I did eventually upgrade to an Elysian for a few days, so... Um, I was just upgrading from Spectral all the way to Divine, but I never reached it to Divine because I got cleaned on, like, gambling and stuff. It was kind of stupid, but back then, you know, everyone gambled. Big portion of people gambled. I did, too. So that is how I lost my money, but that's for a different video. Yeah, so what happened in Luring, I was just sitting in the GE AFKing some bonfires, and, uh, you know, I was really tired, and I didn't really have a good day, so I was uh, just out of it, I guess. And um, this guy came up to me. Well, actually, it was a chick character, but I guarantee it was a guy in real life. Anyways, he kind of talked like a guy. But um, he was like, hey, you want to check something out or something, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. Um, I was just trying to be nice. And I did not expect him to be a lurer at the point. At that point, um, he, he said, come to Clan Wars and let me show you something. And we went to the Clan Wars and he said, okay, um, bring your gear in and come to the Red Portal. And for some reason, like, I was so out of it. For sh like, I've never been lured before this. And I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to get lured and stuff like that. So, like, the actually the thought of being lured didn't even cross my mind at this point. He said, come to the uh, red portal and let me show you something. And uh, actually, he was being really nice. So I'm like, oh, he might be a cool friend or something. But, you know, obviously, I'm going to get lured. I'll go into the safe area because obviously I'm not going to go in the uh, red area with the... Uh, this so he told me hey run all the way to the east and you can probably make and he said you can make like 50 mil and I'm like oh that's kind of cool and uh, at that point like I wanted an Elysian really bad and I needed like 50 mil so I'm like I was kind of greedy and I'm like okay so I followed it I followed through and he's like walk in and keep in mind I did bring food because I had um, some food in my inventory like I had 10 shark I believe and the rest were just U logs, so I kind of did prepare just in case. But like, even though the thought of lure didn't cross my mind, I still brought food just in case anything happened. Um, so I had food here, and he said, "Walk in there." And I'm like, "Okay." I walk one step, and nothing happens. So I'm like, "Okay, that's not too bad." And he was telling me all these tricks I had to do, and I and I didn't do them. I, I said I was doing these things, but I actually wasn't. And then um, like a stack of coins came up on the ground. And he said it was 50 mil, so um, obviously I was really out of it, so I believed him. And um, what I did was I ran in there, and I'm like this, and I'm like, oh, money. So I run in the money, and I grab it. He actually dropped like 2 mil, which is kind of funny. I mean, you could just drop like 10k, and it'd be the same amount. And then, you know, obviously a big group of people came, but only one attacked me, and uh, he like tele blocked me. I don't know why you would do that, but he uh, like froze me and stuff, and I just kept on eating, eating, eating. Then I slowly made my way back to the... Um, the line and I was uh, with one shark left and I was one square away but I was frozen and then I ran out of shark and it was really really intense and I finally walked through the thing with just like one hit left on me or I would have died without any food 
And then they just kept on like, they put a bunch of lols and stuff like that, like that, and uh, said that I was a cheater and I was hacking. So that was kind of weird. Like they called me a hacker, even though I lived through their thing. I don't know, they were kind of weird, but uh, I'm like, okay, I just profited two mil off of you guys. You are bad. Um, I mean, back then, this armor right here was pretty good defense, and, uh, like, not for mage defense, but Arcane did kind of have some mage defense back then, I believe, so, I mean, that could have helped, and, um, I was 99 defense, and they were, uh, kind of low, lower level, not extremely low level, but not maxed or anything for combat stats, so, I mean, that could have been a con contributing factor, but, I mean, either way, they're just, they were just really bad lurers, I don't know why, and then they just called me out on it that I survived, so it was kind of funny, and I profited two million, two million off of them. But if they did kill me, I would have lost like 150 mil, and I probably would have quit at that point. But I mean, obviously it was my fault, and uh, you know everyone's been in that situation where they either like get lured without even knowing it, or they get lured because they were just stupid for like five minutes. And that was me. I was stupid for five minutes, and that was mainly because I was just tired and just out of it. I just wasn't thinking correctly and uh, stuff like that. So, I mean, it can happen to anyone, and it almost ha happened to me. So, uh, yeah, that was my luring story. Pretty generic. I know everyone probably has some sort of sor story like this, but, you know, it was just a memory that stuck out to me. And it was so memorable for me, I even remembered exactly what set I had. Like, this is the exact gear that I was wearing when I was fire making, because it looked really nice back then. I mean, it still kind of does, but old bandos looked really nice um, with this gear set. And uh, just imagine this with a Fury Ornament Kit, and that was my gear. So, yeah, it was just a memorable thing for me. So, see, so guys, I know it probably wasn't the most, like, spectacular um, memory thing that I could ever say. But I did profit, like, 2 mil off of this, and it was kind of funny that they were calling me out and just swearing at me afterwards. And I was pretty lucky to get out alive. But, um, yeah, moral of the story, don't be stupid. Don't drop 2 mil if you're going to lure someone. In general, just don't lure anybody because it's bannable nowadays. And, yeah, just... Do not believe anyone when they say you can do blank and they make you teleport somewhere. Just don't believe them. Um, chances are it's going to be some sort of lure unless they're like a friend of yours that you've known a while. They're not going to lure you. I mean, unless they're not a friend, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was my luring story. So hope you enjoyed, guys. I will have another uh, memories video in the next uh, week or so, maybe. I don't know. I like doing these once every week or two weeks. Uh, I've been kind of slow on that just because I was having a week break. So I kind of forgot to do these kind of videos. But I do have a lot of other memories I'm ready to make. Like, another one is going to be, like, when I got scammed. In the comments below, talk about your luring experiences and anything like that. Don't say anything about you luring someone, because I do not um, condone that kind of thing. I probably will just ban you from the channel if you say that you lured. Um, I know it might have been fun for you, but it just isn't a good thing to do on a game. But either way, if you had any luring experiences about, like, if you lost anything or got really close like me... Um, I would love to read them. So that is your job, guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.